and welcome back to my 3D printed cell phone case project. I know it's been a while since you've uh, heard from me, but i uh, got some really great and big news. A lot of uh, viewers remember my uh, Windows uh, Phone HTC 8X cell phone case. Right here we've got the sticky theme, we've got the spider theme, and we've got the live tile Windows theme. And uh, there's going to be uh, many more posted soon, but uh, today I wanted to talk to you about the new cell phone case that I'm uh, supporting soon, which is the Nokia Lumia 8, or the 920, right here. And, uh, well, let's get into it. So, uh, I went ahead and printed a test case, and uh, went through great expenses, and had this case 3D scan. The only issue is that this is a display model. It's a non-functioning display model from AT&T. Hopefully it has the same dimensions and the same exact fitting as the real 920. But uh, for now, here's the case. This is the first prototype of the first 920 case. Let's go ahead and see how it fits. Alright, as you can see, it snaps on really well. Got the uh, camera right here. You got the flash. Looks like it's a little bit too obscured, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, widen that. Got a really good fit up here. This is the uh, corners here that are protected in case it falls. You won't get it scratched up. The 920 is a very, very durable phone, but if you drop it on concrete, it is going to scuff up and scratch up the corners. We got some slight fitting issues here at the bottom that I'm going to have to fix. So uh, that means that this cell phone case is not going to be on sale yet. What I'm going to have to do is uh, make some allowances for the bottom and uh, print off a new kit test case. Also, it looks like the buttons here, are there's not enough clearance here to easily operate these buttons. The power button here is a little bit protected and shielded because I don't want to accidentally activate the power. That's actually pretty easily accessible and you can, yeah, you can get to it really easy. And uh, it's very intuitive to locate it because it, your thumb kind of winds up there. You know, you can feel the grip on the top and the bottom and your thumb will just land on it. But uh, the volume up and down are a little bit difficult just due to the tight constraints here and the sh shutter yeah I'm gonna have to give some more allowances for that but overall it came out really nice you know there's some slight fixes I need to make but uh, that's the whole point of making these test cases before I put it on sale is I want to be the guinea pig myself before I sell it to somebody and have it uh, not work right so uh, first things first, I want to get to try this on a real 920 and make sure that the fake 920 actually is the same fitting as the real 920. And then I'm going to make these modifications, print off another test case, and uh, go from there. So that's the current status of the 920. If you have any ideas or comments, suggestions, please post them below. And I'll uh, answer them to my best ability. See you next time.